we are a little bit hungry. So we had a McDonald's next to the to the stadium where we live, and we always go to the to the back door and we knock the door. Hey, any burgers left? So it's hard, but we sacrifice the hardest time that we had. You know, when I was a kid, uh, at 11, 12 years old, uh, we don't have money. Uh, and we live with the, in the same place that the other place, the, the younger places, because I live in Madeira, and I look my family three in three months. It was hard, so very hard periods without the family. And uh, late at night, like, uh, 10, 30, 11, we are a little bit hungry. So we had a McDonald's next to the, to the stadium where we live. And we always go to the, to the back door and we knock the door. Hey, any burgers left? And Edna and two more girls, which is, they are pff, unbelievable. I, I never find the girls again. I, I speak uh, with some people in Portugal to try to find where is the girls because I don't find them. Uh, they closed at McDonald's. But I hope if this interview will help to find that girls, I will be so happy because, you know, I want to invite her to come to Turin or Lisbon, to come to my house, to have the dinner with me. And I want to find these girls, to be honest. I want to give something back because that period was a period that I uh, was appreciate so much. It's, uh, it's something that you never, I never forgot that moment. A little thing, but it meant so much to you. A lot. Because you were on your own. You don't imagine how much, you know, to have burgers, burgers in the tonight. night. I remember I was in, was in Lisbon. I can say a poor residence. And I took Cristiano to the room. And I said, Cristiano, look, the daddy used to live here. And he looked at me. <laughs> you joke, no? And I say, yeah, no, daddy don't joke, I live here. And he didn't believe. He didn't believe because what he see now, he don't imagine what we sacrifice, the hardest time that he had. He don't believe.